Kestrel is a really good training tool because you can use it even when you're not shooting. You know, when you're walking the dog in the neighborhood or when you're just outside for any purpose, you can bring a Kestrel with you, look around at the indicators, you know, take a guess at what you think the wind is worth, what the value is, and then measure it. And then that is kind of calibrating your ability to read what a tree looks like that may be downrange from where you're shooting. Um, so it's a really good training aid to use, you know, in everyday life if you're a shooter and want to learn to read the wind more accurately. Um, and as a training aid while shooting, obviously, you know, you can make an assessment of the wind based on the mirage through your scope and see what that looks like at your location by getting a live reading with the Kestrel and just see how those things correlate. You know, sometimes the wind downrange is similar to where it is where you are and sometimes it's different and you just have to, the Kestrel is your instrument for gauging those things so you can use it to sort of educate your experience on what things look like and what they're worth. You don't have to do any math in your head, you know, and you can you can kind of game this ahead of time, you know, playing with your Kestrel, change the direction of fire for a given shot, change the, you know, um, your latitude and see what effect that has. Turn on and off spin drift and you can see, oh, that, that only changed my solution by less than a click or, oh my God, that was like three targets worth of shift that that caused. So you can practice and experience these things without actually shooting just by seeing what the solver predicts those effects are. So in that way, you can kind of educate your insight about when you're actually shooting, you know, I don't have to worry about that at this range. Point being that, you know, the Kestrel, a ballistic solver is your tool for calculating these things. You don't have to do it in your head.